100% design has been part of my whole career within this industry. I've known about it since the age of 18 when I first went to the show and I've been going back ever since. For me personally, the impact of 100% design is really that kind of coming together thing every year. You know, that moment in the year where we celebrate, we compare notes, we debate, we assess what we're doing wrong and what we're doing right. Uh, and I think that is, has a compounding effect on the industry as a whole. Um, you know, but also for London, it's a very important moment for people who aren't necessarily in the world of design to come into an environment that is all about design. It's immersive in that respect. Uh, and maybe they can consider uh, new applications for design within their own lives, within their own homes, within their offices, within their commercial environments, whatever it might be. Um, but if there isn't anything like that in the, in the year in London, this is that moment. Um, and, and, and in that respect, it's very special. I have a couple of experiences of the show. Uh, one on a business level, I launched the London Design Guide, which is the book I wrote um, at 100% Design, and was very proud at the end of it to say that I'd actually sold a pallet of books. So in that respect, it was a very good place to launch. Uh, then on kind of behind the scenes, uh, I worked on the selection committee for 100% Design for a number of years. And that was a kind of closed door scenario where a group of us in the industry would get together and discuss the applications for exhibitors to the exhibition. And I can tell you that those moments were always very animated, uh, particularly when the wine came out. Uh, there were a lot of fun, a lot of debate, um, and ultimately um, good decisions, I hope, for the, for the future trajectory of the exhibition.